Guide to Judaism in 10 minutes or less. And if you're wondering why I was finishing a book, it's because today is actually Simchat Torah, which is the celebration of the end of reading of the scrolls of the Torah. If you're asking yourself what a Torah is, a Torah is essentially the Hebrew version of the Bible. I'm not going to talk about what is inside of the Torah versus the Bible and the differences of that, because that's an entirely different conversation than what I want to get into. The Torah is two scrolls that are wrapped around in beautiful canvas sometimes. Um, they are kosher, which means that they have been blessed by a rabbi. And inside of the Torah is all of the stories written in Hebrew. Now, in Hebrew, you do read from right to left. And when you open up a scroll of a Torah, you are turning it. So essentially, it's like a piece of paper kind of sliding across your screen type of a thing. And instead, you have two scrolls and it's on the Torah. And you usually do have a pointer so you don't touch the actual Torah from when you are reading it. This is the 52nd passage in the Torah that has been read finally. So now starting next Shabbat, we'll actually be starting right over at the beginning of the Torah again. Now Simhat Torah actually has less to do with Sukkot, which it usually follows after in the Jewish calendar, and we'll get into Sukkot at a later date, but it actually has a lot more to do with Yom Kippur because this is another fresh start. So what happens during Simhat Torah is that it the last passage read of the Torah on the scroll. Remember, with Torah, you actually read from right to left instead of left to right, but the scrolls do move from left to right now, I think. Either way, it's the last passage of the Torah that's read. So once services are done, what ends up happening is that all the Torahs are taken out of the Ark. Now, the Ark is where all the Torahs inside of a temple are stored, and they're usually covered in beautiful, beautiful ornate ways, whether it be in silver, in velvet, in beautiful coverings. And what will happen is that the Torahs are raised up high, and they're circled around the temple at least seven times in a joyous celebration and dance. So, I don't have a Torah, and I'm kind of in an Ark, but I got chicken soup for the Jewish soul, so I'm going to raise above my head and dance. So it's actually a really cool thing because it's all about fresh starts again, like in the sayings of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. It is about joy and celebration and dance and knowing that next week you get to start the stories of the Torah all over again. Now there's a reason that they're circled around seven times and I am going to put some links to a couple different ways that explains a little bit more about Simha Torah in the description bar below. And there's a lot of songs that you usually sing for Simha Torah at the temple. I'm not going to sing them for you because I'm not good with singing Hebrew songs. But with every episode of Everyday Jew, I do teach you guys a little bit about Judaism. So here is essentially my quick Jewish shot about Simha Torah. Another fun thing about Simha Torah is that Usually all of the men are called up to the bima, which is where the rabbi and the cantor will stand, and that's at the front of the temple with the ark behind them. And all of the men, sometimes the women, sometimes the children, will have what's called an aliyah, or a Torah passage that they do read in honor of Simha Torah. So that is your little mini lesson on Simha Torah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what books you guys are finishing, if you're finishing any, and that you want to start all over again because you enjoyed it so much. I've read this thing quite a bit, as you can see. It's been pretty beaten and battered. Granted, it's pretty old, but I do love this book. So let me know what books you have read and then wanted to start right over again because it just meant so much to you. Now, thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe really means a lot and give this video a nice big thumbs up it tells me that you guys like what you're seeing on everyday jew there will be links to everything in the description bar below including resources about simha torah and all the social media accounts not only for everyday jew but for me and i will see you guys next shabbat shabbat shalom everyone